Hello. Uh, quite apart from all the news about Prince Andrew and uh, Boris Johnson, there's a very interesting story that's turned up today because somebody, a man, has got up to the uh, top of the um, BBC building, just off the Strand, and has taken a chisel to a statue of Prospero and Ariel, which is on that building. Now, the statue was made by a man called Eric Gill, and Eric Gill, uh, I, I remember at school, there was, a, there was a statue that people used to pass without really very much notice, and this statue was a statue by Eric Gill, probably one of the most expensive things, effectively, in the school, though nobody cared for it much at the time. Uh, now, Eric Gill is a man with a past, a, a tremendous artist and responsible for uh, a, an alphabet called Gil Sands, uh, effectively responsible for the look of the Guardian newspaper, if one likes that. But he also abused his daughters and the family dog. Now, it seems to me that his story parallels that of people like Rolf Harris and Jimmy Savile uh, and others, do we judge the art by the quality of life of the artist and do we then destroy the art if we decide that the artist was a foul individual? Many artists have been foul individuals. The thing that drives some of the artists is such a fiery spirit that it emerges uh, in ways which are completely unacceptable. We can also think of, uh, we can go further back and we can think of the artist Caravaggio, who was a murderer. Do we destroy Caravaggio's art because of what he did? No, we don't, because Caravaggio is a central character in the development of art and the development of the Renaissance. If you listen to people like Alex Belfield, uh, he would say that uh, the statue on Broadcasting House should have come down, rather like the statue of Cecil Rhodes on the college uh, in, in Oxford, on Oriel College. I'm afraid I don't share that view, precisely because of Caravaggio. And uh, although I think Eric Gill's private life was abominable, I think his art is impeccable. I think his art is astonishing and he was an amazing inspiration in the 20th century, artistically. Personally, I, I think he, he should be excoriated, but we shouldn't be taking it out on his art. The man who got up onto the BBC building and took a chisel to Prospero and Ariel was wrong. Wholly wrong, I think. Do do let me know what you think. Uh, as I say, I, I know there are people on YouTube who have been campaigning for the removal of this statue, and particularly Alex Belfield. Uh, I don't agree with him. I don't agree with them. Uh, and that's because I think there's a distinction to be made between the art and the person. So I, I look forward to your, your views on this, and uh, I await further news about the story. Um, in the meantime, please follow the channel and ring the bell. Bye-bye.